Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how to download the WAMP server. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to install the WAMP server. To install the WAMP server, just double click on the downloaded executable file. All you need is double click on the downloaded executable file. Once you double click on the downloaded executable file, you get this window saying the publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? You should only run software from the publishers you trust. Of course, we trust the WAMP publishers. So we should tell to the system to run this application. No problem for us by clicking on the run button. Once you click on the run button, you get one more window for the verification. There you get two buttons, one yes, another one is no. Just click on the yes button. Once you click on the yes button, you get another window saying select the language to use during the installation. Select the English language, click on the OK button. Then you get this window saying license agreement. Please read the following important information before continuing. I strongly suggest you to read this agreement if you are ok with it, select I accept the agreement and click on the next button. Once you click on the next button, you get one more window with some information saying before proceeding with the installation of WAMP server, you must ensure that certain elements are installed on your system. Otherwise, the WAMP server will absolutely not run. Make sure you are up to date in the redistributable packages Visual C++ packages especially. And also it is telling do not install the WAMP server over an existing version. So we need not to worry about much this information now. Just click on the next button. Once you click on the next button, you get another window saying setup will install the WAMP server 32 into the following folder called as WAMP folder. The setup will create one WAMP folder within the C drive. Within that WAMP folder, WAMP server 32 will be installed. If you want to install somewhere else, click on the browse and locate the position. Then you click on the next button. At present, we put it as it is default C colon backward slash WAMP. Say next. Once you click on the next button, you get another window saying setup will create programs shortcuts in the following start menu folder. In the programs list, the setup is going to create one folder called as WAMP server 32. Within that folder, it puts all the shortcuts. Then you click on the next button. Once you click on the next button, you get one more window saying setup is now ready to begin installing the WAMP server 32 on your computer. Just click on the install button. Once you click on the install button, you will see a progress bar showing that the installation is happening. The setup is going to install all the components of the WAMP Server 32. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a window saying Internet Explorer will be used as a browser by the WAMP Server. Do you want to choose another browser installed on your system? Click on the Yes button because we are going to use the Google Chrome instead of Internet Explorer. So Google Chrome should be used as the browser by the WAMP Server. So click on the Yes button. Once you click on the Yes button, you get a window telling Please choose your default browser. Just go to C drive, open the program files folder. Within that you will be having the Google folder, open it. Within the Google folder you will be having one more folder called as Chrome, open it. Within the Chrome folder you will be having one more folder called as application, open it. Within that you will be having Chrome application, select it, click on the open button. Once you click on the open button, that browser will be used by the WAMP server. You get one more window saying the notepad will be used as text editor by the WAMP server. Do you want to choose another text editor installed on your system? Click on the no button because we want the notepad should be used as a text editor by the WAMP server. So click on the no button. Then you get another window with some information which are most important. It is telling when starting PHP my admin, you will be asked for the username and password. After installing WAMP server 3, the default username is set to root and there is no password. You should remember the username is root and password is nothing, which means that you must leave the form password box empty when you are running the PHP my admin. That's what it is telling. We see that soon in upcoming video tutorials. How do we use this username and password and how do we remove the warning that occurs while opening the PHP my admin? Okay, just click on the next button. 
Once you click on the next button, you get the last window saying completing the WAMP Server 32 setup wizard. Setup has finished installing the WAMP Server 32 on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the install shortcuts. Just click on finish to exit the setup. You just click on this finish button. The setup will exit. Okay. Next, once the installation is complete, start WAMP Server just by double clicking on the shortcut available on the desktop. I minimize the word. I double click on this shortcut available on the desktop WAMP Server 32 and then I click on the yes button. If the installation went well, you should see the WAMP Server icon on the right hand side of the task bar or in the tray. If you see here in the tray, we have W that is actually the icon of WAMP Server. The icon should be in green color. Yes, it is in the green color. If it is in red or orange color, that means there is an error. We don't have any problem. There is no error because it is in the green color and is showing the local server. All services are running. Green color means all services are running. The services that must and should be running are Apache services and MySQL services. They are running at present. No problem. Everything is okay. If this icon is in the red color, that means no services are running. If the WAMP server icon appears in the orange color, one of the services may not be running. We'll discuss how to fix these errors and problems later. We have successfully installed the WAMP server and we started the WAMP server perfectly. There is no problem. Everything is perfect. I suggest you people to install the WAMP server by following these steps. Okay. In the next video tutorial, uh, we understand how to write the PHP script and uh, run using the WAMP server. Uh, for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.